All right, good to have you with us here on the South African Morning as we quickly head up to 10 minutes uh, to 8 o'clock. It's World AIDS Day, so so many questions to be asked. How much closer are we to ending the scourge of HIV and AIDS? How much better are we getting at providing support to those who need it? And, of course, because of COVID-19, some people are asking about an HIV vaccine. But we'll discuss that in a moment. More importantly, Dr. Sitati Molefe from Right to Care joining us uh, this morning. Uh, Dr. Molefe, good to have you with us. I always appreciate uh, experts like you taking time uh, to speak to us. So do you think COVID-19 has taken attention away from the fight against HIV AIDS? Uh, good morning. Um... We do need to um, acknowledge that um, the advent of COVID-19 as a health concern and uh, on to being a pandemic has really um, um, caused some serious disruptions in healthcare in general. And uh, the HIV AIDS program has been one of the programs that would have been affected uh, since the whole healthcare system was, uh, was affected, uh, particularly because this came um, as an emergency and there was quick there were quick um, disruptions and um, obviously at the beginning nobody knew how to respond so a lot of effort resources had to be shifted towards um, responding to the emergency that was covered and and no one doctor is suggesting that shouldn't have happened but I'm curious to get your thoughts on what is almost two years later of fighting COVID-19 some are suggesting we should be getting back to normal and bringing uh, attention back to HIV AIDS TB uh, etc what's your view on that oh uh, absolutely it's been two years and um, indeed that has happened uh, in actual fact, you would you would even see within um, the health healthcare system, within the Department of Health, within the partners that are supporting the Department of Health in implementing programs, a lot of program um, leads would have been having a higher level of effort or higher focus on COVID have actually moved right back into their own programs. HIV AIDS programs um, and other healthcare programs are now being run in tandem with the COVID response. So uh, as we are settling in, <laughs> because we're not really um, uh, on top of things, but we are settling in into the management of COVID, uh, of, the, of, of the COVID uh, a pandemic, we have um, a, a gradually and, 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 and quite uh, adeptly, I must say, move back into ensuring that the whole healthcare system uh, is still functional and the programs that we need to run, and in this uh, instance, we're speaking in particular about the HIV AIDS program, uh, are run and, um, and we continue to, 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 to improve on our implementation and, and move quickly towards attaining the goals we had set for ourselves. Uh, we're going to talk about those goals in a moment, Dr. Molefe, about uh, particularly the UN AIDS goals that seem to be moving further and further down the road. I'll ask you about that in a moment. First of all, I do want to ask you, and I'm sure you'll be aware of people talking about this, because of COVID-19, we're all using the buzzword vaccines, vaccinations. What about an HIV vaccination? Is that a reality? Do you see something like that happening? I'll tell you why. There's criticism uh, labeled against governments that we found a COVID vaccine so quickly, yet here we are 40 years later, still no vaccine for HIV AIDS. Oh, indeed. I mean, it, 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 it does make sense uh, um, for people to worry because uh, I think people are aware that for quite some time there's been quite a lot of work resources that have been put into um, uh, the development of an HIV vaccine. Um, and with time and with, with all years, even pre-COVID, we have been getting updates as to how far we are. There have been um, uh, several uh, steps that have been taken in the development. You will remember uh, in the same way that we even rolled out the COVID vaccine and others. There would have been trials, there are clinical trials, and there are various phases of clinical trials. And with each trial, assessments need to be made to say, um, is this vaccine, can this vaccine then uh, be said to be effective? And, um, and, um, and um, I'm just, um, the word is just slipping. Mm, mm. But with the and aim of... We can use it. And we can say that we, we, we would use it for the intended purposes with uh, as little side effects or untoward effects as possible. So unfortunately, in the journey to the HIV vaccine, we have not uh, seen, um, you know, we have not seen the the gains um, yeah. as quickly as we would have wanted to. And definitely um, uh, we are still, that is still going on. The research is still going on. Work is still going, people are still hard at work at it uh, to do it. But I think when we equate the two responses, you will really realize how 
quickly and how big a problem uh, COVID became when you just oppose it, uh, uh, you know, on the more insidious and, 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 and uh, do I say gradual, um, um, you know, growth in the, yeah. in, in, in the, in the issues that we faced with HIV AIDS. So yeah. yes, it is a resource yeah. issue and it is also a biological issue because we are also looking at different uh, viruses here and developments and, and, and scientific, um, scientific developments are also going to be akin to what we are dealing with. Dealing with HIV is definitely not the same as dealing with COVID-19. No, it's not. But hopefully conversations like this, uh, Dr. Molefe, will bring it back into the spotlight and where it deserves to be as well. As I say, two years later, we need to get back onto all the issues we were dealing with before COVID-19. But Dr. Molefe, I'm going to say thank you very much to you for joining us. Looks very busy as well on her way th somewhere through Bloemfontein.